Hello, I'm Mike Gora. Welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Last time we nabbed six, we nabbed seven, we had nabbed uh, five crystals and seven gems, including the blue one. And we defeat Ripperoo. Uh, fun fact, Ripperoo does not, Ripperoo does not provide you any uh, percentage points for beating them. Which is a bit of a bummer. That bosses don't do that. But now we're ready to begin. So which level are we going to do first? Well, seeing as I don't have any Aku Aku Mouse, let's try Barret. Especially since this could be potentially the hardest level of the bunch. So fingers crossed everything works out just fine. Good, nine. Eleven, good. That's eleven out of eleven, and we got the crystal. And circle, press circle ch to charge. Good. Good! Woo! I can't believe I first tried this stage. Woo! Without taking a single death. That is great. Alright, so I am Mike no longer. Instead, I'm just nameless. No name. With that, we nabbed ourselves another crystal and another gem. We don't need to do that. Save here. It looks like we will be Mike once more. So why not? So which novel will we do next? Well, since we still don't have an Aku Aku Mask, we'll do this one first. Oh god. At least those mines aren't deadly at all. Well, they could be deadly, but only during like boulder thing, the boulder segments. And unfortunately, unless they're like TNTs or nitros, the boulders will not destroy any boxes. Believe me, I tried. Shh. 
shit. Ah, oh, shit. Go down here. All right, and I'm not going to go down there and chase after the Wumpa fruit because that's too much, because that's a detour that I don't need to take. And this is going to be really tricky because I do believe I need to... It's only thanks to my uh, slide, slide spinning that I was able to get enough speed to knock all those boxes out and I am out of there. Hard part's still not over though. I would say that the hardest level out of this group is probably snow biz. But we need to do air crash first, so. Because we need the red gem for the uh, snow biz level. So we need to get that, so we need to get that first. But first we need to access the death route. And I, and to access it, I can't die at all prior to reaching it. And yes, there will be another death manip here. But I actually want to hold on to my mask. Beautiful. Why ignore the checkpoint? Ooh. That was bad. Now wait for the hippo to resurface and I need to give that platform a bit of time. Beautiful. Go. Yep. Oh, that wasn't very good, but 
you know, at least I made it relatively intact. I'm not going after that. Gotta wait for those to resurface. Going on to the death route. Beautiful. Or I wanna wait. I wanna wait for the next cycle. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got the I got the crystal in the in the death root gems. I unfortunately cannot get the box gem yet, so I've got something else in mind. We're gonna play hopscotch with those boxes and lay on that platform. Ugh. All right, two times the charm. And a bit of a forewarning, uh, neither Cortex nor Coco nor Bria will ever try and contact you while in the secret wart room. And yes, we just unlocked our first entrance into the secret wart room. Yes. Which gets us an extra 1% each point on top of the 2 for the crystal and 4 for the gem. We are accessing the death, the uh, secret death route to Snow Go. Time to nab the red gem. I forgot how I dealt with that porcupine. Guess just directly. Nice. I want to go back here because I want the extra life and the Aku Aku mask. Ah, shit.
All right. And now we have the red gem. Do I need to get the go to the bonus round? I think not. Now we can ignore those boxes. Practicing my, uh, my, uh, slide spinning. And with that, we've 100% the first warp room. Another pair of dickin' balls. Gonna go up. Alright, and now we are going to take on probably the most difficult level of the bunch. Luckily we have a pair of Aku Aku masks, so hopefully they will make themselves useful for us. Sixty one lives. Pass all the seals. We're gonna try to go up here. Now just a little dodge to the towards the screen. Oh, 
And now for these green ones, we need to do the sp the slide and spin to make it out in one piece. Because they will slam down super hard, super quick, if you don't. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Ooh, that was tough. That was a tough one. Now, hopefully I don't die at this part. Ah, sh I jinxed it. Alright, more of the story, don't slide and jump when, when I'm trying to reach that platform. It ain't gonna work out very well for ya. number a little off guess not Alright, since I want to keep that extra life, I gotta try to take care of this in one shot. That was smooth on my end. Same one lives. Imagine if I didn't die and I would be able to turn super here.
Nice, 124 out, 124. And yes, this is one of those uh, levels where the death root doesn't have a gem associated with it. Or a level with a death root but no second gem. Now with that said, we only have one more level to go. The eel deal. Alright, and this time we can actually get everything all at once. Oh, come ah. Uh. I missed time the uh, slide and jump. And yeah, I literally discovered this secret entrance by examining just why this room has a shit ton of... Because not every level has a traditional death route, you kind of have to use some unconventional thinking, to say the least, in order to uncover, in particular, the color gems. Can't believe I was able to backtrack. Almost ran into those nitros. So, the key to figure out where all the secret entrances are, or where you can find a hidden swell of boxes. Is to look for super inconspicuous places like the t the nitro room. All right. Nice. I want to go left first because that's where the crystal is. It's also where all those boxes are at. Wait for the buzz.
class first. Whoops. Oh boy. I gotta wait till these buggers go down. Alright. And looky... Looky here. Ooh. A pair of dick and balls. Let's get out of here. Okay, Crash, let's plaster the wall with your dick and balls. Go on, do it. Whoop them out. Yeah, I wonder if the developers even realize what, ha what they just did here. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between warp ruins. Remember, I'm counting. Uh huh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save my game. At least the next boss is courteous enough to actually gift you with a pair of Aku, Aku masks. So, and these bot guys are the Komodo Brothers, specifically Komodo Joe and Komodo Mo. The gimmick is simple. Komodo Mo will try will spin Komodo Joe. You have to avoid Komodo Joe, and then you spin Komodo Joe into Komodo Mo. And I know who is who because Komodo Joe is a racer in Crash Team Racing. Komodo Mo is not. Yep, there are. Pair of Komodo dragons uh, who are who reside in the islands of Indonesia, the largest living r lizards. Ooh, what the heck? And even though they're dead now, they're still da too dangerous to touch, so no touchy. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now is not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Okay, so first it was you were counting on me, and now it's the fate of the world. Okay, sure, why not. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game here. And side note, I am creating backups in case anything crazy were to happen. So next time we are going to take on the third warp room. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. With all out of the way, this is Mike Gorn, sign out.